Tell Laura I love her. Tell Laura I need her. Tell Laura not to cry. My love for her will never. Oh shit! Hello, YouTube. Hi. How are you all doing? My sunglasses are gonna fall back down to my face. Take them off. A lot easier. Well, bonjour there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this is just a, a short video, um, for a specific reason. Uh, you might remember, you probably remember, if you've been watching my YouTube channel for, or my, sorry, my, my, ch my profile, fucking Google with your channels, you can fuck up. Uh, if you've been watching my profile for a while, uh, you've probably noticed that I've been uploading videos saying real player is fucked. Yeah. The other day, for no reason at all, I tried to download something using my real player. And it worked. It downloaded it in FLV format, and it played perfectly when I played it. And when I clicked to convert it, it started converting it, which I cancelled because I didn't want it converting it in the first place. And then I deleted it. But yeah, so Real Player is now working again. Yeah. Which one of what keeps going wrong with it, really? It's like just for every now and then, just for no reason at all, you can't download anything. Or you can't download anything properly. Or you'll download it and it doesn't fucking work. So yes, as far as I can tell, real player is working again. Which is good. Because if it was really, really small, you know, microscopic, then hardly anyone would be able to see it. Which would be a tremendous shame. Secondly, Secondly, and I'm going quite near the end now of this analysis of this painting. Secondly, go down to your local sweet shop. Especially if you've got an old, an old style sweet shop. Maybe. Or even just an old sweet shop. And go and buy some of those brilliant sweets called Cop Cops. Because they're absolutely brilliant. And also pick up some aniseed bowls while you're down there. And ask them why you're in there, wherever it is, whether you're in fucking Bombay to fucking New York. Uh, no matter where you are, ask your local sweet shop if they sell that lovely little sweet that's like an aniseed ball, but happens to be called a fireball, which is a little sweet in the shape of a ball which is about the size of an aniseed ball and it tastes of cinnamon because you used to be able to find them and you used to be able to buy them but I can't fucking find them anyway and it's pissing me off because I like fireballs I like the drink as well with the whiskey in it that's quite good in fact quite a few years ago back when I was about 80 so that was about seven, nearly eight years ago now, uh, I invented this drink called a Hellfire, which is a shot of Fireball with a shot of Jack Daniels whiskey in it. And uh, I was in the pub once, you know, having your pint of John Smith's like you do, slipping away. And this guy came in, and I'd seen him several times before, and he walked up to the bar, and he said, Come hellfire, please. And I was just about to lean across and go, I invented that, you know. When he st when the guy said to him, pop down the bar, would you like ice in that? And he said, yes. So I was leaning across and saying, I invented that, you know. I like the cross and said, well, that must mean that Hellas froze over. I 
and the barman laughed, and he laughed. And then I explained to him that it was my drink and I created it. It's amazing how things you, especially cocktails, you invent, just sort of get passed around all over the place. Like me hellfire. And me, uh, and me bastard. People have to go in the, in the I've heard people go in the pub walk in and order a bastard. Which, which is, which is quite funny actually. If they walk up to a female barmaid and they go, "Can I have a bastard, please?" Because they usually get slapped around the face. <laughs> so you better go to a different fucking pub. You could. Uh, yeah, have a bastard, please. <laughs> Imagine two men go into the pub. And they can't quite afford to drink themselves, so they ask each other, Would you like to go hands on a bastard? <laughs> uh, the drink was called a bastard because when you drink it, it makes you go bastard! Because of what's in it, you see. And in the drink, you've essentially, you've got all four spirits you know, whiskey, rum, gin, vodka, you've got cider beer and wine. So you've got cider, beer, wine, whiskey, rum, gin and vodka. So you've got seven drinks in one. And you drink it in a pint glass. And I've heard people order it with lemonade in it. Must be a virgin bastard. Either that or the person that ordered it was a total bastard. <laughs> and if I hit you around here, you'd be a stupid bastard. But that's besides the point. So uh, there's no nice to have people walk into the pub, stand right next to you and order the drink that you invented. It's great. And it's like you stood there and it's like, oh yes, I'll have a hell fire, please. And you turn and you go, I invented that, you know. <laughs> They don't believe you. You could be, you could be, you could be anyone. Something like when I invented that, you know. Well, you were poor John Smith, so I invented that, you know. <laughs> you, you, what's that you want? You're a virgin. You're a, you're a black Russian. I invented them, you know. No. Um, I mean, popular cocktail like a black Russian. Obviously, people know who invented them. Uh, but it's these little cocktails, you know. I don't think you can, oh, they said it was a cocktail, I don't think you can actually call a Hellfire a cocktail, because all it's got in it really is whiskey and whiskey. Granted, one of them is cinnamon flavoured whiskey, but it's still just whiskey and whiskey, really. So, yeah, I really don't think you can call that a cocktail. Then again, what do you have to have to classify it as a cocktail, really? When a cocktail is a mixture of drinks, but it doesn't tell you how many or what they have to be. Yeah. But yeah, Hellfire. I haven't had one in a while. I might have to, might have to challenge some people in the pub to a Hellfire drinking contest. We could all buy a double of it. Right, you get double Jack Daniels, a double fireball. And we could all see who can down it the fastest and see how long it takes all of us to throw up. Because cinnamon and whiskey, especially for fireball and Jack Daniels, is not a very good combination. Especially if you have double shots of it. So if you have a double Jack Daniels with a double fireball, it's probably going to make you feel sick. Especially if you've been drinking whatever the hell you've been drinking all night. Whether you've been on bitter cider, wine, or vodka, or whatever. WKD is fucking. Wrong. Fucking Stella Artois cider. Sorry, Sidra. Sidra, not cider. WKD 
talk about Cedra, let me know in the adverts. Have you seen that advert? Especially if you're in England. Have you seen that advert without a woman on the bus? And the guy pulls up next to her in a car and indicates for her to come and get in the car. And she takes the hat off the bus driver and sticks it on his head and gets in the back like it's a chauffeur. And he drives her around. Quite an interesting advert. It's for chocolate bars or something. Hasn't she got a very nice looking face? Especially around the eyes. She's got lovely eyes. And why does he look so much like Patrick Warburton? I just don't get it. <laughs> That's weird. On, on, the, on the camera screen, it looks like I'm trying to eat the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> tell no one not to call her. Yeah, I um, I heard the song Tell Laura I Love Her in the pub the other day. You know the one, tell Laura, I, the one I was singing at the beginning of this video. Tell Laura I love her. Tell Laura I need her. Tell Laura not to cry. My love for her will never die. Well, I use my track ID thing on my phone. Tell me who sang it, so I can download it. Yeah, like you do. And according to my phone, it was a song called Tell Laura I Love Her by a guy called Richie Valance. Now, for those of you who are familiar with the name Richie Valance, or those of you who aren't familiar with the name Richie Valance, it's the guy who died in a plane crash with Buddy Holly and the Big Bopper and it's a person who sang La Bamba, Donna, Come On Let's Go, We Belong Together and various other tracks back in 60s I believe but that's not who sings this song because Tell Laura I Love Her is actually by a guy called Ricky Valance well Ricky Valance not Richie Valance. Ricky Valance. Spelled completely fucking differently. And his name's Ricky, not Richie. I mean, I mean it's a completely different guy, basically, because Richie Valance was American and Ricky Valance was Welsh. So for some reason, the internet has got mixed up between Ricky Valance and Richie Valance. I think that Richie Valance sung Tell Laura I Love Her. So maybe the internet that thinks Richie Valance sung Tell Laura I Love Her also thinks that Ricky Valance sung Donna, maybe? I don't know. But they might want to fix that because a lot of people are going to get confused. I've got a glass down there. Tell Laura I love her. Tell Laura. I've got that song stuck in my head now. I've been singing it for the past four days. Tell Laura I need her. It's quite a addictive song, really. I like classic music, um, especially like around the 60s and that. So it's my sort of music, really. Tell Laura not to cry. My love for her will never die unless I get shot in the head <laughs> that's one of them songs with a with a story in it you know like um like that one by Elvis in the ghetto you know and his mama cried cause there's one thing that she don't need to know how to be in the ghetto uh -huh, in the ghetto And that other one, Big John. Mm -hmm. Every morning at the mine, you could see him arrive. I stood six foot six, and weighed two forty five, kind of broad in the shoulder and narrow in the hip, and everybody knew he didn't give no lip to Big John. Nobody seemed to know where John called home. He just drifted into town and stayed alone. He didn't say much, kind of quiet and shy, and if he spoke at all, he just said hi to Big John. Big John. 
Big John, Big Bad John. Somebody said it came from New Orleans, where he got in a fight of a Cajun queen and a crash and blow from a huge right hand sent Louisiana fellow to the promised land, Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John, Big John. Yeah. Two is another good song as well. Riding along on the push bike, honey. Yeah. <laughs> you look so pretty as you were riding along. You look so pretty as you were singing a song. Hey, hey. Tsh. Ooh, ooh, tsh. Yeah, there's lots of classic songs that are really good, isn't there? Yeah. Like Prius and Cole in Incident on Choose All. When you say an issue, man, a whole bunch of same with a whole red maybe a call bus guy. Let's take us my hands up to go and the baby to say you're a British show. Oh. When you're saying the shoot, man, I'm hoping to say me the whole good movie as I call a bus die. That's quite a good song. It's one of the first rap songs in the world. And it's Italian. And it's gibberish. And it makes no sense whatsoever. That's because it's gibberish if it could. But I'd love to sing it on karaoke. I can imagine that you open, open karaoke and you're going, you say you should ride home, when you say when I hold it, maybe it's a colour bus die. No one could say you were singing it wrong. Could they? Really? You get that song on the karaoke anyway, it just tells you, um, all it says on the screen is gibberish. Just as the word gibberish. Because you're meant to just sing gibberish to it, basically. There's like a chorus to type it where you sing specific lines, but then the rest of it's just you sing some gibberish. And I can't remember what the song's called. It's quite a well known, it's quite a popular track. Quite a well known track. But it's all just gibberish. Until you get to like specific points during the song when you actually actually sing proper lines. And then you just sing even more gibberish. And then you sing a couple of proper lines, and you sing a whole lot more of gibberish. I love songs where it's just all gibberish. Because I love to someone come to you and go, You're sounding that long, you know. I don't know how the fuck do you know? It's gibberish. Oh, yeah, but you're supposed to sing it like this. It's got different gibberish, you know. I don't know why I'm saying that like Kenneth Williams. Oh, yeah, stop messing about. You're singing the wrong gibberish. That went a bit funny at the end there. When I say this shit, man, I hope in the same man, I hope red maybe as a color bus die. Brrrr, the sickest man, you be like, oh, the baby say, yeah, but it's so old. When I say this shit, man, I hope in the same man, I hope red maybe as a color bus die. When I say it's like a coffee shin, when I say it's like a coffee shin, you've got to hear the give us that baby a sham. Yeah, we're going to have to choose to buy your help, so we'll hope, 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 Aye, aye, smile, I said, slack, and it goes so far with bees, oh, aye. Get a cold man to say, oh, I'm freezing cold and dancing on shoes, oh, all right. It is supposed to be a sticky out of the window when the baby lives, you like, leave me on. Yeah. But if you want to know what song I'm, I'm, I'm talking about there, I think I uploaded the video of it, I might have to link it in the description or something. I'm sure I made a video of it. Just like I made a video of um short change hero, which I extended from being three minutes to eight minutes. I made an eight minute version of a three minute track. I don't know how I managed to do that really. And honestly I don't know how I managed to get away with it. I managed to just click together perfectly, even though I only used Windows Movie Maker to create it. 
It's amazing the things you can do with Windows Movie Maker. You can make a three minute track into an eight minute track. I also use it to make my version of Gary Newman's Cars, which I think I uploaded as a video called Travatures. Which I'll probably also link in the description in case you can't find it. Then again, you just check my profile, you'll have to find it. Just search twa type in Travatures. You'll find it. Or as I like to call it, Gary Newman singing with the team, uh, Devil and the Chipmunk. Thing, the weird thing about that song is I uploaded it to YouTube and YouTube didn't real didn't like the it's got that fucking audio recognition software that that picks out that you've used a popular track and says, Oh, this is going in and yeah, copyright bullshit. Uh I uploaded my version called Twilight Matures and it doesn't realise that it's going in. Yeah, however, it, the website thinks that my version of a, the theme tune to Assault on Precinct 13, which is at least two minutes longer than the original, is actually made by someone else. Well, it's made by someone else, but I remixed it. It's my remix. Therefore, it's not copyrighted by anyone except me. But the company, the Google, or YouTube, or whatever, said owned it, don't actually own it, because the people who own that track are actually someone else. But yeah. So I disputed the claim and said, fuck off, it's not whatever this company has owned it, it's this fucking company that owns it, get your fucking facts right, dickheads. We all make mistakes. Tell Laura I love her. Tell Laura, please don't call in and choose all, all right. <laughs> I wonder how many other songs there are complete gibberish. I do like that song from Final Fantasy X. Uh, it's called uh, Suteki Dane, and it's by uh, Riku. It's quite a good track. It's not gibberish, but I mean, to an English person, I guess, or to anyone who's not Japanese, was it Chinese? It's probably anyone who's not of that race would think it's probably gibberish because um, to anyone, a foreign language is gibberish. I mean, to a Chinese person, English is gibberish until they learn English, and then they go, maybe it's not gibberish. Although the English language is gibberish compared to every other language, because every other language speaks the opposite way round. Which is why in Star Wars, if you're a Star Wars fan, and if you didn't know this, Master Yoda speaks the way he does, because that's the way English should be. Because every other language, like French, German, Italian, Chinese, whatever, didn't say I'm going to the shops. It translates as to the shops I am going. So that's why Yoda would say to the shops I am going. Hmm? You know, not I am going to the shops. Like if you live now, help them. You could. Yeah. Around the survivors, a perimeter create. That's sure. right. So you said it like that for a reason, you see? Genius. How many of you actually knew that? Not fucking many, I can tell you. But I will leave you with this question. A very important question. A question that has plagued mankind for decades. When you go to McDonald's... <laughs> a lot of my friends, are, I've already asked them this question. When you go to McDonald's and you buy a Happy Meal, right? You get your fries, you get your large coke, or whatever. You get your coke, or your lemonade. You get your toy, and you get this stupid fucking cowboy box that comes in. And you get a two of two burgers, you see. Unless you want something else. You get a cheeseburger, or you get the other one. Right? Why is the other one called a hamburger? 
it is made of beef. And I'll leave it up with that question, ladies and gentlemen. And if you know the answer, then you're a fucking sad person just like me. I asked a person in the pub the other day, and he said, I actually know the answer to this one, and he told me. It's actually something I never knew. So, you know, I just woke up one morning, I put my cap on, I put my sunglasses on, and I looked in the mirror, right up there. I looked in that mirror there. And I just looked at myself and I went, what is it called a hamburger if it's made of beef? I don't know why, I just suddenly just looked in the mirror and said that to myself. But yeah, so if you know the answer to that, then well done. If you know the answer to it, post it as a comment. Below. Below. Job. Please. Uh, uh I mean, please post it as a comment, not please give me a below job. I've got people who could do that, I guess. Uh, but yeah. I guess my girlfriend could do that, really. But yeah, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you again soon. When this video I've just already wants to stop. Just say no please for no hero. Just say no please for no better man. Just say no please for no hero to call home. Every time I close my eyes, I can't see anything, because I've got my eyes shut, obviously. Tell Laura I love her, tell Laura I need her, tell Laura not to cry, my love for her. We'll never die. Tell love I fucking stop the video for God's sake. I'll sit here for five hours waiting for this video to stop. Maybe I'll just sing some free form jazz cat singing.
it's a video series in which I talk about absolute shit for like half an hour or something and people actually watch it and actually enjoy watching it, I don't know why I guess some of the things I talk about are actually quite interesting I guess but it's not really much entertaining content, it's just me sat there for somewhere between 30 minutes and now we're talking about whatever it is I'm talking about and I'll get talking about something and I'll just, it'll just suddenly lead me into talking about something else I'll start talking about something else completely entirely different so we're talking about the eating habits of cats and then like, uh, like my conversation would trail off and I'll talk, talk about how Brian Blessed punched a polar bear in the face and talking about punching a polar bear in the face would lead me nicely on to talk about spaceships or something, you know. So, uh, my random bollocks videos are quite varied in what I actually talk about. Uh, but the same can be said for most of my videos, really. I mean, uh, I was going to upload this video of me playing uh, Unreal Tournament once. It wasn't going to be part of the Spielen series. Uh, it was just a video of me playing Unreal Tournament. And I recorded it for over an hour, for some reason, and I just, I just started talking about whatever the hell it was. I think it's about Tony Blair being the worst politician I've ever heard of, or whatever. And you know, I sat there playing away like you do, killing people, or whatever. I'm not even talking about the game. I just sat there killing people, or whatever. Talking about how Tony Blair is a fucking crap politician, which led me nicely on to talking about how Princess Diana's death was a criminal conspiracy or something which led me nicely on to the fact that JFK wasn't murdered by Lee Harvey Oswald and that it was probably uh, the Mafia or the government which led me nicely on to, lead to talk about something completely different you know like fucking whether or not the human race came from Mars which led me nicely on to the fact that Pluto was declassified as a planet which led me nicely on to talk about something else and I just stuck all this stuff together in a one hour video of me playing on real tournament and I thought should I upload it? And I sat there and watched it, you know, I watched it like this. Confused as fuck at what the hell I was talking about. I'm wondering how I was actually linking all this together. <laughs> you know, it's like talking about stabbing someone leaves me nicely on to gun crime. What? Well, you stab someone, they die, you shoot someone, they die, gun crime. See, it, le it leads nicely on, doesn't it? It's like talking about chairs, leads you nicely on to talking about how we're killing the rainforest. Because chairs are made of wood, and wood comes from tree. See, it, it works perfectly, you know, when you explain it, but it doesn't when you just say it. <laughs> you know, talking about politics leads me nicely on to a conversation about religion. What? <laughs> And I think in this one hour video I started talking about religion as well. So it started as a conversation about politics, became a discussion about whether or not we came from Mars, Pluto being declassified as a planet, whether uh, Princess Diana's death was a criminal conspiracy, who really shot JFK, and then it suddenly became a conversation about religion. And I sat here watching it for an hour, you know, like you do thinking, should I convert this and upload it? Because by the time I'd finished recording it, it was 4 or 5 gigabytes. And because I record a... I record a, a 10... That latest one I did, Capture the Flag, of a real tournament, it was only 10 captures, but it was over 2 gigabytes when I finished it. And this one I was recording for an hour, it was fucking 5 or 6 gigabytes by the time I finished computer screaming at me that I've got no fucking space left. I've got plenty of fucking space. I sat there and watched it and I thought, should I convert this and upload it to YouTube? No, I don't think so. So what I actually did was I fit all the, I split all the stuff up. Like the Tony Blair conversation, and the Princess Diana conversation, and JFK's assassination, and Are We From Mars. I split them into separate videos. And I recorded them as separate videos. So there's a video of me that I've uploaded somewhere on my on my you know profile of me talking about how we probably originally came from Mars. And I think I've got a video somewhere of me talking about how JFK was actually assassinated by a member of the government or something. And uh, you know, so instead of having one long video of it, 
it became just like I talked about it in random other videos. If it went with whatever the hell I was talking about or not. Like I uploaded a video about conspiracies. So I mentioned the JFK thing and, and everything, you know. And maybe we came from Mars. I think I mentioned the fact that there might be, well, the, 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 the theory that there might be um, aliens in Area 51, you know, that, that that old thing and that sort of thing. I'm sure it'll end the video about that. But yeah, I just didn't want to upload an hour long video. I've just this randomised amount of talking of random things that just didn't go well together at all until I explained how they go well together. And I didn't want to type in the description below the video a, an explanation of how each thing linked to each other. But the, the weirdest thing about it was the religious discussion that I ended the video with actually tied back perfectly into the discussion about Tony Blair and politics. So, like, you could loop, endlessly loop the video and never get lost because each thing linked perfectly into the next thing and even the last thing linked perfectly into the first thing so I could upload it in a different order you know, I could put the last thing first or something, you know, or start it halfway through and then put the first half back on the end and you'd still just not notice that I'd cut it and re-uploaded re it which is the weirdest thing about it Apart from the fact that you notice the gameplay just suddenly jumped. It's like one minute I started a match, the next minute it was done. But it was quite a weird video, really. I just, I don't know why I decided not to upload it. Converting it would have took fucking ages, though, so I'm glad I didn't. But yeah, I'll try and click this video now and see if it'll stop again. Maybe it will this time. If it manages to stop, then please remember to tell Laura I love her.